All right, g'day guys. Today I'm doing everything handheld because Joel has my tripod adapter. So pretty much today what we're doing, we're making those brakes look like these brakes. All right, let's have a go. All right, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta jack up your car. I've used some makeshift ramps just to get the jack under it. Next, you gotta take your wheel off to get your breaker bar out and get a high impact uh, socket. I've actually broken my 19mm, my standard 19mm, so we had to go for the high impacts. With that all sorted, get the wheel off and throw it to the side. Now here's the old setup. As you can see, it's all rusty. It's dunked in salt water all the time from when I'm dropping the boat in. All the old shoes look, you know, pretty abysmal. The whole thing looks pretty, pretty boring, pretty average. So to get started, we're going to have to take off the caliper. There's a bolt on the bottom and a bolt on the top. With those bolts undone, the caliper should just slide off. From here, you can take out your old brake shoes. The next step is to take off the brake line. This is typically on the back of the caliper. Now when you do this, make sure not to get any brake fluid on your paint. If you do, wash it off immediately. And when you've got that line off, have it draining in a bucket. Brake fluid is the enemy of paint. So just keep, keep that in mind. If a bolt's too tight, get a pipe to stick over your spanner just to give yourself some extra leverage. With all the bolts undone, your caliper bracket should now just slide off. Now get out your hammer, get out a piece of wood, and we're going to have to bash this old rotor off. They will be on tight, so you're going to have to throw some force into it. Now be careful with it, because like I said, you're going to have to really whack it. Now here's the important part, preparation for all your painting. I'm using a wire wheel on an electric drill. I find this the easiest and most efficient way. I've done this quite a few times and I find that this way is the best way. If you don't have access to this, get some sandpaper and a lot of elbow grease because it will take you a while, but you've got to get this done right. Once everything's nice and sanded back or drilled off or whatever you've done, spray it down with some wax and grease remover to get rid of all the uh, contaminants sitting on the surface and get it ready for paint. Here's my new rotor. I've gone for a slotted and dimpled look. This is completely up to you. You don't even have to swap your rotor. I've just done it because mine needed changing. Now, if you've got new rotors, just give them a hit with some wax and grease. But if you're using your old ones, you'll have to sand them back too. You have to do all the prep work like you did before. Now, mask off all the rotor. You don't actually have to do this. The paint will burn off as you use it, but it's good practice and it'll just look better immediately. And while you're masking stuff, mask up all your caliper stuff, like all your seals, or your rubbers, stuff like that. Just stuff you don't want your paint on. When you've done that, throw some high heat primer down. Make sure it's high heat, because this is what will allow you to throw down whatever color you want. I'd recommend following the instructions on the can, but in my case, I've just done two moderate coats, about five minutes apart. With the rotor, I'm throwing color down straight away. I'm using a high heat black. Uh, you don't have to use a high heat, but I would recommend it if you've got the option. And I've gone for a black just because it's nice and subtle. Now here's the fun part. Now we're gonna throw down some color. I'm using Holden Voodoo Blue, as that's the same color as my car, so that way it's gonna be all nice and color matched, but you can use whatever color you want, whatever variation you want, as long as you've used that high heat primer. Seal it all in with some high heat clear. 
This high heat clear will enable you to have whatever color you want as long as you've got that high heat primer down as well. It'll also bring out a little bit of gloss as well, which is nice. So with this color, it's got a bit of flake in it, so it'll make that nice and pop. Okay, so I've sprayed everything. It's dried for a while. I think I'm happy with it. They look all right. Let's go take a look at the uh, rotors. Yeah, they look nice and even. All right, so now it's time to go put everything back on. The first thing to go back onto your rotor. This might be a little bit tricky because your handbrake shoes will be pushing against it as you go to slide it on. So you'll have to wiggle it backwards and forwards, give it a knock here and there, but eventually she'll go on. Next up, put on your caliper bracket. Now when you're doing this, make sure all your bolts have some good quality Loctite. These are your brakes at the end of the day, so it's the last thing you want falling off on the freeway. If you're using new rotors, use brand new pads as well. Next, put on your caliper. Again, use quality Loctite. You do not want this thing loose at all. Next, we're going to have to reinstall our brake line. When you do this, just make sure not to get any residual brake fluid on your new paint, painted brakes. If you do, just give them a quick dab with a bit of a rag and try not to uh, spread it around too much. Now, I haven't shown you in this video how to do it, but if you've taken your caliper off, you will need to bleed your brakes. I'll be showing you how to do this in a future video. Alright, so a couple of months after doing it, let's see how it's fared up. As you can see, the colour's all still nice and intact. The shoes are nice and all uh, sort of bedded in there. It's all still got its colour, it's not flaking anywhere. So as you can see, you can just throw in whatever colour you want. All you've got to do is throw some high heat primer, some high heat clear after your colour, and Bob's your auntie. This is under pretty high load, so it gets pretty hot, so I mean, it tows a boat all the time, so I mean, towing will always increase your uh, your brake temperatures. Uh, I do skids every now and then, so that's you know guaranteed to soar up your your rear brakes. So these are the rears, and not a single flake on them. So uh, you know, a couple of hours and away you go. Good little project.